All right, everyone, red alert, red alert, red alert. This video is going to be a little out of character for you know, the kind of content that I normally put out, but this is a call to arms for, well, crypto YouTube content makers. I mean, crypto content makers across the board, whether you're doing stuff on Facebook or on Twitter or whatever it might be. Now, we know that you know, crypto is not exactly um, uh, praised by the powers that be, right? So uh, Google, you know, of course, being owned, or rather YouTube being owned by Google, uh, it, it is pretty common knowledge that they have uh, a purge going on with whoever isn't in line with, you know, the... Uh, well, the, like I said, the powers that be, right? The powers that are in all in line with each other that are really not happy about cryptocurrency and the freedom that it allows, you know, average people. So let me go ahead and get into what I'm talking about in particular. Now, yesterday I was um, kind of surprised to get a violation um, strike. Well, it actually wasn't a strike. It was a warning. Okay, and my next you know, uh, well, violation will be a strike. Now, keep in mind that all of my content uh, is, you know, it's about cryptocurrency, passive income platforms. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of us out here who are providing content in terms of, you know, educating people about platforms that are out here that we can earn passive income on. So, uh, but that's not even the point. The point is, it seems that, you know, whatever your niche of cryptocurrency is that we are being targeted now let me go ahead and show this email that i received uh just yesterday right yesterday afternoon or evening it was now it seems that this is not a like i said it's not isolated i know it's not because again i'm seeing a lot of other crypto uh content makers uh, in particular uh crypto news a lot of you guys know who he is he's been on the scene uh, in, in the crypto space for a while. Uh, yeah, and he just put out a video talking about how, uh, well, in particular, he actually hadn't yet gotten a strike or gotten a warning. Uh, but some of you guys know who uh, Chris Dunn, another uh, pretty well, I guess a balanced in terms of his, the content that he puts out. He's a pretty professional and balanced and really talks about, you know, crypto news and things like that. He's not even one who puts out uh, links and things like this, but he had um, many of his videos uh, pulled and, you know, received strikes as a result. And, you know, of course, when you receive strikes, you know, it really, it handicaps in a big way uh, content makers. Now, some of this, you know, people are, this is their livelihood, right? You know, making content and whether or not you have your channel monetized or whether or not you're earning um, you know, via spreading the crypto gospel and, you know, whether you're putting out links and things like that, you know, and getting income via uh, crypto and via your network, you know, if they shut down your channel or, you know, if you can't do live streams and, you know, your, your, your channel is, you know, it might thrive on doing live streams and things like that. But if you receive even, even one strike, you know, they'll, uh, they'll lock you down for a week with respect to being able to upload videos or being able to, um, you know, do live streams and things like that. So, you know, a lot of people are already being affected by this because some people have gotten strikes. Now, as I said, I just received a warning. Now, let me go ahead and show right quick. It says um, in this in this email that I got just yesterday, our team has reviewed your content and unfortunately, we think it violates our sale of regulated goods policy. We removed the following content from YouTube. Now, when they say re they removed it, it's gone. I don't even have access to it. Uh, now, it's a video that it was no big deal. It was a four minute, you know, my passive trades uh, video that I did on my phone. And there wasn't anything outstanding about it, especially the fact that it's not outstanding. Uh, it's not outstandingly different than the other videos that I have. So, you know, it was um, really a, a bit of a shock because you know, I stand to at any moment get a strike, right? And be in, you know, be in a position where I can't get content out um, and I'm not the only one. So, you know, this is really a call to arms, you know, for, uh, you know, crypto content makers to band together and at least educate people and, you know, make people aware 
um, that we have got to find at least another outlet. Now, I do have, you know, personally some, um, you know, other outlets, whether it's DTube, um, BitChute, and, uh, you know, other places like this that we can upload our content. But, you know, obviously we don't get the kind of traffic and we don't get the kind of, um, well, ultimately revenue that we that we might normally generate from, you know, from our networks. So it, it, it's a bit of a problem, um, but we really need to <laughs> try to pull together and band together and try to find a solution, uh, you know, some kind of, I, I don't know, video uploading service that is just built on the blockchain. Now, there's a couple of things that I've heard about, but, you know, I'm not going to get into any details right now uh, about that, you know, with respect to blockchain um, you know, video content platforms. But anyways, though, but so yeah, people, you know, be aware and on the lookout, um, you know, for these kind of, um, for example, I didn't even realize that I got this email. Now it came and I could have easily overlooked it. Now it was a warning and, you know, my next one will be a strike right here. So you can see it's a warning. The next one will be a strike and so on strike two strike three and after strike three again i'm done right they pull they just shut down your channel so you know this is why you know it's a good idea to have backup channels multiple channels to have your content backed up and so on and so forth but um anyways let me go ahead and finish reading the email so uh, that you guys can see what it is that we're dealing with um we know that this might come well we know that this might be disappointing but it's important to us that youtube is a safe place for all Despite the fact that they, you know, they support, uh, you know, pedophiles uh, or, you know, I mean, all types of silly ass, you know, just craziness on YouTube that you would think, um, you know, what's going on with these guys' moral compass? I mean, again, they don't have a moral compass. I mean, it's completely, you know, 180 in the direction that you would think, right? You know, supporting people who are, you know, harming kids, you know, uploading. I I've seen some craziness on YouTube um, that didn't receive strikes uh, for a long time while it was up. I mean, porn, you know, I mean, straight porn, uh, straight gay porn that I've seen, unfortunately, you know what I mean, that I wasn't looking for it. I mean, again, it came across from, you know, someone who was reporting the fact that this is on YouTube and for kids, you know, to be able to easily come across this kind of craziness. I mean, it was raw. I mean, some crazy shit that I had to click off immediately. Uh, anyways, though, you know, as we move on, um, but it says if content breaks our rules, we remove it. Like I said, straight, simple as that. If you think that we made, if you think that we've made a mistake, you can appeal, uh, and we'll take a look. Keep reading for more details. Uh, how your content violated policy or the policy? Content intending to sell certain regulated goods and services is not allowed on YouTube. Okay, so that's a pretty bold. Uh, statement right there okay so certain regulated goods I mean again they're not giving any now I guess I could click on this learn more to find out exactly what that is but it says here this includes directly selling or providing links to sites that sell them okay so I mean that's almost in every video that myself and so many other uh, content makers are putting up whether they are passive income platforms or whether they are leverage platforms or whether you have a link to Amazon. I mean, all of this stuff is just, you know, we are all at risk, ultimately, is what they're, what they're telling us. Because this is, this isn't, it's not even about crypto. It's about these regulated goods. Anyways, regulated goods and services include online gambling casinos, uh, alcohol, nicotine, unlicensed medical services, stolen financial information, or endangered species. Please remember that these are just examples. Uh, and don't post content if you think that it violates this policy. Um, so how it affects your channel because this is your first time it's just a warning if it happens again your channel will get a strike and you won't be able to do things like upload post or you know live stream for a week right and so on and same thing if it happens if it's my second strike you know you lose the channel um, and on and on so I mean again like I said this was just a shout out to the community as a whole I mean really not just in crypto but I believe that they are in particular targeting uh, crypto content makers. So be on the lookout. Uh, those of you guys who are in this category of, you know, putting out crypto content uh, and, you know, share this video, 
uh, share other videos that you will come across of you know people who are talking about this and bringing this to light. So you know it's like I don't know if I should put my entire channel on private uh, for a period of time to avoid getting a strike, but any of my videos are subject to um, being uh, you know violating policy apparently. So like I said, this was just uh, a heads up for all of my fellow Kryptonians and my fellow uh, crypto content makers, be on the lookout. YouTube is purging crypto channels, all right? So let's not be the next uh, InfoWars or Alex Jones, uh, you know what I mean, where they just straight scrub us from the internet, uh, or at least from YouTube anyways, all right? So this is Experience Crypto 24-7, signing out and signing off. So I'll talk to you guys on the next video real soon. Peace.